What up guys, so today we got a question from Rack, who is having a situation where um, he's got a job, new job, right, and it's his first big boy job, he's a young guy, right, and so he, he cannot turn this job down, his parents are like, you must take this job, and he's been training jiu-jitsu for several years now, loves jiu-jitsu, it's changed his life, he's, he's joined our giant grappling cult, and uh, you know, it's turned him into a kid who is weak and flabby in his own terms, and he said he now has confidence in himself, he feels physically strong, has self-esteem, it's changed his life, right? So with with that said, he is wanting to continue his training, but because of the new work schedule, which is like from 1 to 9 p.m., all of his gym classes happen in the evening around 6 o'clock, so he doesn't have the, the chance to train. And so he's wondering if I have any suggestions. He's thinking about it more from a private lesson standpoint, if private lessons would be a good idea, but he's looking to keep training somehow, and private lessons are what he's thinking about, but he's also open to ideas. So, um, brother, thank you for the question, Rack. So check this out, man. I've been in the same situation as you. I remember I had my first job like as an, as an adult, right? Um, I worked in a catering place years ago. At a re I used to serve um, in wait tables, and then I worked at a catering job on the weekends back when I was, you know, in my like late my teens and uh, into my early twenties. Then I got a, my my first big boy job where I was working at a you know cubicle type thing and was making some money, right? And, and actually had a paycheck and came home and was like, look at that sucker, right? Well, anyway, when I got that job, my schedule at the time was like I think it was. 2 to 11, the worst schedule ever. You know, it's like this really late second shift schedule. Um, and at the time, our gym didn't have any morning classes. And so it was a bummer because that basically nixed everything. And at the time, I was really into training for fighting and everything else. So I didn't, I couldn't train. Um, and so it was, a, it was, it was a big issue for me for a, for a while. So what I did was, is I got together with several of the guys that I could find who had a similar issue where they couldn't train as much in the evenings. And then we started a morning class. Now, granted, back then, the number of people training was very small, so I was only man able to manage to muster up about four people. But hey, four people for jiu-jitsu is better than nothing, right? And so I trained in these morning classes a few times a week while I was waiting for my schedule change. And then my uh, my schedule ended up getting changed because my coach, <laughs> he, he wrote like this letter. I, t I was telling him my situation. He was he wrote this really, like, like you know, well-written letter to the company that I was working for. And he was like, hey, we really need this guy to help us out with our classes and this business, da, 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 da. And, uh, you know, because all the other people in the business and the, the, the managers thought fighting was cool, they, they went with it, you know, wink, wink. And so anyway, I got my schedule changed about six months later. But in the meantime, I was able to train. And so for you, you know, this job may not stick around forever. It may, I don't know. So one of the things you could do is gather up some people because you might think that this is only you. But if you gather up a group of people, you might have more people that you could do a morning class with. My guys at the gym back during COVID, right, when the lockdowns were going on, I remember several of them couldn't make it into the evening classes uh, for one reason or another. And so they started a 6 a.m. crew, right? Now, 6 a.m. is really early, at least for me, to train. Like, I usually get up at 6, 6.30. So I was like, I can't normally make that. But these guys could, right, because they're getting up earlier than that for their jobs. And so they were getting up and coming to the 6 a.m. class. And what started off as like a handful of guys just trying to get in some training during, you know, the, the craziness of it all, it turned into now it's a really consistent class. And some really good guys in my gym have gotten primarily their training in the mornings with uh, my guy, my coaches, Jeff and Eugene, right? So again, it turned into a good thing. So what I'm getting at here is you're looking at this standpoint of, you know, what can I do for myself? Can I pay for privates or do I have to stop training? That was basically your your idea privates are great do them if you want to privates are obviously very good you learn you know straight from the the source of your information there not bad at all but again if you're used to doing group classes and it's an option and maybe you, you know you want to save some money from time to time if that's a if that's an issue maybe think about asking some of the people in your gym just like put out the word right you probably got more people that you can message on facebook and stuff and say hey guys um i can't make it to the gym do any of you guys want to come train with me at whatever times or mention it to your coach say hey coach do you know anybody that might want to come in at you know 10 a.m or something i guarantee you if your gym has you know even 20 people you'll probably be able to get a handful of people to have a training session with and your coach can either you know tell you what to do and run it himself or you can just come in and you know you can drill some of the things that you're working on already and get some roles in or whatever it is that you want to do but that would be my suggestion instead of doing this thing alone and saying man what can i what can i do private wise what can i pay for what can i do on my own ask the people around you because a lot of times the things that we experience um, on the mats it, we're not the only one and so there's probably multiple people in your gym right now who are you know toughing it out for evening classes but they would love for a morning class because it would be better for their schedule and you might be able to make 
something happen like that, and that'd be a great thing for both the gym, because then more people can train who might have the same situation or something similar. Um, and it's also good for the coach, because then he's able to offer more options for the gym for the people training. So um, that's the suggestion. I would give you Rack. That's what's worked for me, worked for some of my students. And so good luck with that, bro. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.